Nowadays, if you're scrolling through the Steam store, you will find some high quality AAA style of a free to play first person shooters to enjoy without paying any money. For an example, the games like The Finals, Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, or even the games like PUBG are still very much popular in 2024. But what if you have a pretty low end PC or laptop in 2024? Let's be honest, most of the time you cannot enjoy any of these games that I mentioned. So don't worry, guys, today I'm gonna bring you guys 15 of the best free to play low end first person shooter games that you can enjoy on your low end pc or laptop in 2024 and if you got some sort of a dual core cpu 4 gigs of ram and some sort of integrated graphics you can pretty much run any of these games without any issues so guys we got a lot to cover in our today's video so sit back relax and let's get right into it all right starting at number 15 we got ava global it's a free-to-play online multiplayer competitive style of a first person shooter initial release back in 2022 and i remember playing the game back at launch and some of the game modes in this game remind me of the games like counter strike but overall it's a much more casual experience the game represents various type of game modes including team deathmatch demolition which is the most popular one with 5v5 round based game mode and also separate zombies one which i had really fun time playing it it's definitely not the most popular game on our today's list but still having around 700 plus daily concurrent players which is still a pretty good for a free to play game as definitely not demanding on your system all right next up we got pretty awesome little single player offline first person shooter for those who really don't like to play multiplayer games and that is the game called a wall it's a free to play action packs military spec style of a first person shooter and honestly it does look like a pretty old game even though the game is pretty new on steam that is mainly because of the game was built upon the classic build engine even though it's a single player experience the game let you command a team of your own soldiers which you can command them to attack, defend or hold positions. Overall, it's a pretty cool little game and I absolutely love this pixelated graphic style which remind me of the classic games that we used to play. Alright, next up we got a pretty newly released awesome little first person shooter called Retro Combat and honestly I just found out about this game when I was researching for this video. It's a pretty casual, simple looking polygon style of a first person shooter which does support single player as well as online multiplayer and the game also lets you create your own custom servers or you can simply enjoy the game completely single player with AI soldiers. It's a battlefield style of a game represent 10 different maps and 25 plus weapons including bunch of vehicles like tanks, airplanes and all the other stuff so pretty cool game overall and extremely easy to run even if you have a very low end system. Alright next up we got a game that I actually reviewed on my channel before and that is a game called Paint Warfare. It's extremely simple fast paced arena style of a first person shooter and overall the game is very simple you simply run around and just try to get many kills as you can and try to go higher in the leaderboard to ultimately make the win. There are a bunch of cool abilities in the games like hang gliders and jetpacks and with the recent update they added a bunch of new maps into the game as well. Overall it's a very simple cartoonish looking game, definitely a fun game to try out whenever you have a free time. Alright next up on our list we got one of the best browser first person shooters you can play right now and that is the game called Venge.io. It's a free to play objective based first person shooter represented tons of simple game modes like deathmatch, gun games, arms race, payload and a separate sniper game mode as well and it's literally a browser game you don't have to download or anything all you gotta do is just open up your web browser and start playing and if you wanna download there's a separate windows client as well overall it's an extremely fun browser game i highly recommend you guys to check it out Alright, next up at number 10, we got Hellbound Survival Mode, which is going to be the free-to-play version of the pretty popular classic 90s style first-person shooter Hellbound. And if you ever played the 90s style classic first-person shooters back in the day, the games like Doom, Quake, the gameplay is going to be extremely similar, but visually the game looks much more close to a modern-day first-person shooter. In this survival mode, you fight against hordes of demons and other unholy creatures from Hellbound, and you literally have to use your full arsenal of weapons and abilities in order to survive as much as you can in this Raw like game mode. It's completely a single play experience. You can definitely enjoy the game completely offline. Overall, it's a nice little free to play game that you don't want to miss out in 2024. Alright, guys, next up we got one of my personal favorite games on our today's list, and that is the game called Banana Shooter. It's an extremely fun free to play fast paced first person shooter. Initial release back in 2022, but even nowadays, the game is pretty popular, holding on to like 2500 daily concurrent players, which is pretty decent for a free to play game. It's a game that I highly recommend for you, especially if you got a bunch of friends to play alongside with you you can easily make a custom game and invite them to your lobby and have a super fun time with variety of game modes that the game provide but even as a solo player you can easily join other player servers you will find tons of different maps and game modes you can enjoy with absolutely no issues all right next up we got a pretty cool survival first person shooter called walking zombies 2 and i'm sure most of you guys never even heard about this game before until now and the game is kind of a hidden gem that hide under the massive free-to-play section on steam anyway it's a free-to-play single player kind of a 
for open world survival first person shooter and the game got typical survival mechanics such as looting, crafting, upgrading your gear and weapons and overall I would say the game has a nice balance between first person action and survival RPG elements. And on top of all that the game also got a very unique polygon like art style which I'm a big fan of so if you're looking for a fun single player survival game to try out I would say it's definitely worth giving it a try. Alright next up we got a game that I recently went back to and had a super fun time playing and that is a game called Pixel Strike 3D. And I'm sure most of you guys already heard about this game. It's a super popular first person shooter among low end PC gamers. It's a free to play fast paced first person shooter bit like Call of Duty but completely built upon pixelated blocky Minecraft like characters and the game filled with variety of extremely fun game modes including a separate battle royale mode as well. And not only on Steam the game both available on Android and iOS especially if you want to play the game on mobile. Really fun first person shooter to play. I highly recommend you guys to try it out. Alright next up we got a game that is pretty popular and very similar to our previous game and that is a game called Cranker. And absolutely no introduction needed. One of the most popular browser games you can play right now. The game has fast paced movement, very fun gameplay and variety of different game modes and maps to choose from. And on top of all that the game does support incredible amount of mods and millions of players playing the game daily. Technically it's a browser game. You can literally go to your browser and start playing. And I believe the game is also available on Steam as well. Alright guys before moving on to the top 5 spot guy if you enjoyed the video so far please go ahead and drop a like and also subscribe to the channel we are so close to the 50,000 subscribers so yeah drop a like and a sub much appreciated Alright, if I haven't mentioned this game on our today's list, some people is going to be angry in the comment section. Yeah, I'm talking about Team Fortress 2. Honestly, I don't think I have to explain about this game. It's probably the most popular free-to-play hero-based arena style of a shooter that we had for a very long time. Honestly, guys, I haven't had the chance to jump back into the game for a very long time now. So I have very little knowledge when it comes to the current state of the game. But it seems to me the game is still very popular on Steam, having close to like 70,000 daily concurrent players. And guys, if you're someone who plays this game more regularly, definitely go ahead and drop a comment down below and share your experience with us especially if you are playing the game in 2024. Alright next up we got a pretty popular up and coming free to play title that I actually talked about in my previous video and that is the Polygon. It's an extremely fun free to play multiplayer first person shooter similar to most of the battlefield games and overall the game has a very nice balance between a casual first person shooter and a tactical shooter and the game received a very recent update with a brand new map and weapons so now it's probably the best time to jump back into the game and the system requirements are somewhat higher compared to most of the other games on our today's list but still very much low specs friendly in 2024. Alright next up on our list we got a pretty underrated free to play arena style of a first person shooter and that is the game called Paladins. I'm sure most of you guys already heard about this game especially if you're coming from more popular competitive arena style shooters like Overwatch or if you're just tired of playing Overwatch 2 Paladins is going to be a great free to play alternative that can actually run on a low end PC even though it's a somewhat of an old game at this point the game still receive continuous update to this date and having close to like 8,000 daily concurrent players which is pretty decent for a free to play title on Steam. Alright next up at number 2 we got Valorant one of the most popular competitive shooters you can play right now and you might ask bro why don't you add Counter Strike 2 onto our today's list uh, that is mainly because of the most recent update the system requirement got a huge bump and you literally cannot run CS2 on a low end PC nowadays but Valorant on the other hand is still technically playable on a low end system especially if you got some sort of a dedicated low end graphic card you experience is going to be much better but even with intellectual graphics you can run the game around 30 fps with few hiccups here and there and moving on at number one spot we got a game that run flawlessly on a low end system and one of the most popular first person shooters among low end pc gamers and you might guess it right that is the combat masters it's one of the only free to play games that gives you a triple a call of duty style of a first person shooter experience especially if you got a potato system in 2024 this game literally a knockoff version of call of duty with pretty much similar game mode similar weapons very similar movement mechanics and even the most recently added battle royale mode which is basically like call of duty warzone so if you're looking for a triple a like call of duty style of experience on a low end system this is the game you should absolutely want to try out well that's pretty much wrap up today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and found some awesome free to play low end pc games especially first person shooters that you can try out right now and if i missed any good free to play low end first person shooters definitely go ahead and drop a comment down below and share your experience down here as well finally guys before moving on as always if you enjoyed the video so far don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe because we cover tons of free to play games on this channel i catch you guys soon in my next video stay safe